We're standing on a pier that was built in phases between 1914 and the late 1950s. A lot of what's going into restoring this particular pier actually occurs below our feet at a level where most people will never see or even notice. The ability to have a new pier out over San Francisco Bay again is very important to the investment the Exploratorium is putting into what's going on above the deck. About a third of our work out here is repair the existing piling. That's being done primarily with divers. Our divers are in the water generally during an eight-hour shift. They'll have about a five-hour dive in the morning and about a two-hour dive in the afternoon. The diver's umbilical is the hose that, that feeds the diver air from a uh, diving compressor topside. It feeds the uh, communications to the uh, dive supervisor topside. We also have a hot water hose taped in, which is from a hot water pump that pumps hot water around 100, 120 degrees that goes down to the diver to compensate for how, how chilly the water here is in uh, Northern California. Most of the divers on this job have uh, fiberglass helmets that are weighted down in various spots to uh, maintain buoyancy. It provides a shell of protection. It provides a breathing environment, a life-saving environment for the diver. that's supported on timber piling with concrete jackets sleeved around the outside of them. The concrete jackets were undergoing deterioration. One of the big components of this project is restoring the jackets of the existing piling. We're blasting the organic material and any loose concrete off using high pressure water. After our, our pile has been cleaned of all growth and uh, has been assessed for damage, we will go down and remove the mud with what we call as an airlift, which is just a stream of uh, high pressure air that, that blows out the mud around so we have a better view of the pile. Then we will go down and place a uh, concrete holding bag that's on the bottom of the pile, which will be buried below the mud line. That's a good shot of the bag and strap. Then the diver will install uh, rebar cages, which is the uh, reinforcement for the concrete around the pile itself up to a designated elevation. He'll install those by using a uh, concrete drill and rebar pins and various tie wire, just as we do uh, topside. Then the last part of that would be the diver's going to install a fiberglass shell, which holds and maintains all the concrete in place. and then ultimately we're concreting that shell and, and leaving both fiberglass and concrete around the new pile. We're working on unstable surfaces. We're working in all sorts of weather. Oftentimes the workers are wet, cold. It takes a unique individual to do this type of work. Working under the uh, pier itself can be very challenging for the boats to go in due to high tide. We can have our diver pretty much do everything we don't ever have to stop work due to the tides. If an activity is affected by the tides, uh, that crew will work 
at a low tide period. We often have crews working around the clock out here. Above deck crews working during the day, below deck crews working at night. The other thing that affects us out here is the ferry traffic. One of the problems early in the morning is you have a lot of high-speed ferries going by and those wakes are rolling under the dock and they create an unstable situation for us. I myself have been down on a job and, and had a, uh, a boat come by and the wake of that boat has actually pulled me off the location where I was working. One gets the sense that you're going into a different world some days. The light will change, the level of the tide will change. The views you have out of the pier and under the pier are changing. We think it's a very cool environment for a lot of reasons, one of which is most people will never see it.